Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Revelation X Elimination Chamber 2022. On Kansas City, Missouri. Big time crowd here tonight. Great action ahead. And how about this one right here? The winner will face the hardcore champion at RevX Mania. Will it be Jaden Shadow, the chosen one, Devin Harrell, Billy Norton, Ryan Hux, Ken Washington, Or Cassidy Black. Try to get my screen up on my phone here. These six men looking for an opportunity. <coughs> yeah, hell of a contest here tonight. Every match is a chamber. And Dallas Barker is saying he's going to retain his championship. I mean, we will see. He has some tough competition ahead of him tonight. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I heard in the skybox here that former two-time RevX Women's Champion from our higher pro side, the Queen Jamie Johnson is watching up above hoping her man walks out the new submission champion. We'll see if he can get that done here tonight. So we have capacity crowd here. And these six men competing for a hardcore title opportunity at RevX Mania. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's some people who do not love you whatsoever and probably will not follow you, but I mean, we'll see if you can prove them differently. And we got former, former hardcore champion in Jaden Shadow, former submission and world champion. And Brian Hux, former uh, world champ, multi-time world champion, tag champion, Devin Harrell, Ken Washington, who is yet to win gold here in RevX, and Cassidy Black, another man who has not won gold. And tonight, really, luck of the draw. I mean, you gotta imagine some of these guys are hoping that they get the best number they can. I mean, really, a lot of them hope that they're dead last. The following you gotta imagine these men want to be dead last and don't want to come out early Making his way to if the they ring. can. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 250 pounds, Devin, the chosen one. The chosen one, Devin Harrell, in the house tonight. Look at that humongous structure. Two matches tonight will not be in the chamber. And that is the six man, I'm sorry, that is the eight man 
four tag team matchup. The winning team will, well, I'm sorry, there's three matches, I'm sorry. The four team matchup, Fatal Four Way Tag Match. The winning team will go on to RevX Mini to face the tag champs. And we got the Revelation X tag titles. Well, actually, I'm sorry. I was right. We got two matches. The Rev X tag titles are on the line as BCW will be coming out in BCW after getting that count out win. They will and face the pack. And here comes DC's finest, Ken Washington. Former PWR heavyweight champion, UWA hardcore champion on two different occasions. Has yet to win gold here. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting word that the match that was, we had a little, there's some a couple of superstars going at it on social media. Um, and this match has been confirmed. Next Monday night's main event, Revelation X Monday night, it will be Travis Markson, the prestigious one, against the enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. For the Revelation X Hardcore title with Mad Max Orion guest referee Landmine Deathmatch. And here he comes, a man that most people probably don't think he had a chance in hell of winning, Billy Norton. He has not won a match yet, but I mean. Took D Mob, shocked D Mob, took him to the limit. These fans here love Billy Norton. They love the underdog. Norton must have got luck of the draw. He ain't starting this match. I'm being told the final two entries will be starting. Cassidy Black. He is going in this thing. He will not be starting this match out. Definitely has the luck of the draw here. God, I imagine that makes him very happy. Knowing that he can come in this match and not have to worry. About starting this thing early, start being in there before and just being the top man in there, being number one or number two. And Mr. Town Guy is in the house. WEW World Elite Wrestling. We know the WEW champion is going to be competing later tonight. In two different matchups. And here he comes. Brian Hawks. 
former RevX heavyweight champion, two-time submission champion. He is looking for an opportunity to go for that hardcore title. Ladies and gentlemen, um, just again, give you a little heads up on everything. Um, the 6th and 7th, the 6th, March 6th will be our RevX Mania show on our Fire Pro branch. Then the 7th, right here on our 2K branch. And probably won't be doing any more 2K shows until mid-April, May. So we get everything set up and ready to go. But we're going to try to hopefully have everything going back in May. We definitely got to get with our top notch ring designer. Our arena designer. Who, had, who brings to us our great Revelation X rings on Thursday nights and also on our Rev X Monday night shows on our Fire Pro side. And welcome CJ Starscream. Welcome, welcome. Just making it to the first match. The winner will face the hardcore champion at RevX Mania. RevX Mania, as I said, our Fire Pro show will be March 6th, March 7th, right here on our 2K side. To end the in 2K19 and Brian Hux is laying those right hands in the Jaden Shadow. Hux is feeling it here. Oh, nice European uppercut. Went for that pump knee. Kicked right in the leg. Kicked right in the ribs now. Brian Hux. Breaking the back. Shadow. Better get something going. And right now, he's on the outside. What pod's going to open first? Who's going to be number three to start to join these men? And it's Ken Washington, DC's finest. And Washington. Oh, dropping right to the back of the head. On point. Warm shot. Over the back of the head. Nice jawbreaker. Shoulder block just grazes him. Nice modified STO. Went for a shoulder block. Referee went down. Referee in the line of fire. We know these two men. Both men love to use that spear. Jaden Shadow calls his the peace of mind. Ken Washington calls it the capital punishment. And there's a stun gun. German suplex! Rainmaker! Cassidy Black is number four! With this, the Moen drum that drops him on the outside! It is false count anywhere! Black trying to 
eliminate Jaden Shadow. Oh, but it's a small the pack. There's that Olympic slam on the outside. Throws Ken Washington back in the ring. Black. Just having his way with Jaden Shadow. Washington fighting back. Norton's in this thing now. Billy Norton. Says hello to Kim Washington. Washington trying to take out that knee. Black and Jaden Shutter on the outside. Big deadlift power bomb. And now Hugs on the outside. Going the action. Jaden got gloves from midair. Go to right to the ribs. Overhead, belly to belly. Norton. And Jaden Shadow is gone. And here comes Devin Harrell, a chosen one. I did not see what, hap what happened on the outside there. So much action going on. Oh, I'm sitting looking at the stream here and got nailed that Carolina slam from Hux. For real now, Round and Cassidy Black, Washington, going ahead and just bouncing. Billy Norton gets that pod. Norton getting out of there. Norton back in the ring, playing, dealing with Cassidy Black. Oh, wow! Pulling first against the chamber. Rep is down. Unique suplex there. Harrell's on the outside. Luthes Press ringing down the right hands of Billy Norton. Off the leg drop there to Ken Washington. Springboard clothesline, no one home. Nice sent on. Oh, it's out of, the, out of the ring. Oh, here we go. Capital punishment coming up. And he just cuts him in half. Two. And Norton is gone. We are down the final four. Catapult in the steel. A rail getting bounced against that pod. Getting thrown back in now. Now, this big man, Brian Hux, throws Kelsey Black back in the ring. Right hand, got to the ribs. Not sure what he was going for. Belly to back, Salto suplex. Harrell looking for a dragon. Washington said, I don't think so. Carolina slam by Brian Hux. Cassidy Black is down. Two, no. Snapping Regal Plex. Harrell called for it. There's the warning shot. One, two, no. Um, I've already uh, promoted it. 
Our promote Butt Monday. A competitor has been Washington's eliminated. gone. I did not see how we got eliminated. I know we kicked out of the warning shot. I'm trying to look back and forth here. Oh, we hit that. That's from above that Black Dragon DDT. Oh, spiked him with the DDT. Pharrell could be looking for that death from above. He has him up. Not a chance. Hulk says, I don't think so. Brings him around and slams him. Forearm shot. Puts down Harrell. Big, big Polish hammer. Big oven pusky like Polish hammer. But this picks him up, rusts him over his head. And Harrell comes crumbling down. And the Alabama Slam not having it. You already know this town guy. Or you already know. Carolina Slam. And Black is gone. One of these two men. Oh, wow. What a boot. Well, go on to Rub X Mania who face the hardcore champion. A Ralph fighting back black in amazement. Like, I cannot believe I just lost this. Belly to back suplex. Brian Hux put the boot to him, going for the pin. And I don't know what in the world the referee is doing. Hux not happy. Up the leg. Up and under. Power bomb. Puts the big man down. Cassidy Black still sitting there watching. Oh, nice stun gun. Shot to the ribs. Oh, look at that. That dragon sleeper. And that's it. He makes him some with a dragon sleeper. Devin Harrell is going to Mania to face the hardcore champion, whoever it may be. Jumping headbutt. Look at this. Just hammering the down man. Norton getting bounced off the pod. Washington gets to steal catapult. Bill can put down Cassidy Black. Here is your winner, Devin, the chosen one. Devin Harrell. He's a former Riot World All Out champion. Former multi time Rev X world champion, tag champion. And now he will go on to Monday night, March 6th, to face the hardcore champion at Rev X Mania. Ladies and gentlemen, number one contenders match. Nolan Franklin, Justice Rage, The Souls of Mischief, Kane, A Kane and Tonga Krom representing the Dangerous Alliance. Corvus King, Ill Master Hunter, The Kings of Harlem, and Nick and Matt Jackson, The Young Bucks. One fall to a finish. What team will gain the victory and will go on 
who Rev X Mania to face the tag champions. No worries there, Tiger. Oh, no worries, brother. You're all good, man. What a great action we have here in St. Louis, Missouri. The hometown of former WWE champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. Also, his father, Cowboy Bob Orton. As these three teams, all these teams have had tag, have been Rivex tag champions. They've all, they've all done it. Kings of Harlem have lost the tag titles to the pack. So has the Crom Brothers. So has the Souls of Mischief. The only team to defeat the pack are the Young Bucks. I mean, which could be the heavy favorite former AEW tag champions could very well get it done here by a capacity crowd here St. Louis, Missouri these fans will be waiting the first team to come out here tonight As I said, after that Mania pay-per-view in March, we will be taking a little bit of a, quite a bit of time of break, trying to get the next season ready for 2K22. Hopefully everything works out for 2K22. But here they are, Kane and Tonga Krom, a dangerous alliance. They've seen their fable stablemate, Harrell, Devin the Harrell, walk away with a win. 1,065 pounds, the Samoan Bruiser Akane Krom, and the Samoan Nightmare Tonga Krom, the Dangerous Alliance. The Dangerous Alliance. I mean, when we speak about the Dangerous Alliance, Let's not forget about on our our Fire Pro side, um, Devin Harrell, who's a who's held every championship, just about. I mean, this man, well, he's only but he has not held the tag titles himself. And Lexi Monai shocked the world. Couple weeks ago, as I looked through my notes, I mean, it was last Monday night. They defeated the superior couple, Spike and Casey. I mean, nobody, and I mean nobody, saw that coming, fans. I hope so too. Um, also for also um, letting everybody know, um, come two K twenty two, my shows will be on um, Xbox, not Xbox, but PlayStation 5, on PS five. Thankfully, with the cross gen CC. It'd be easier to get everybody, and oh, uh, I know it's gonna be stacked rocks roster come 2K22. Rev X is gonna be stacked. Got a lot of names coming. And um, at a combined weight of 494 pounds, we did have a departure. Uh, and Hunter. His contract ended. And he chose not to resign. 
and the Morning Star Jacob Wells. We wish him the very best. Former hardcore champion, uh, 2021 Money in the Bank winner. We wish him nothing but the best. Hopefully, someday in the future, he comes back to Revelation X and never know. Maybe you see him a champion or something. Right, ladies and gentlemen, right now, Ill Master Hunter, Corvus King, the Kings of Harlem. These men want their belts back in the worst way. Not happy they lost the pack for a second time. I can... Capacity crowd here tonight. Four teams going to war. And here they are, Nolan Franklin. Justice Rage, the souls of mischief. At combined weight of 451 pounds, Nolan Franklin and Justice Rage. I mean, they've been UWA tag champion, PWR tag champion, Rev X tag champion. They want to be champions again. And they get the job done again. But first, they had to win this match. One fall to a finish. You don't have to eliminate the entire team to win. The, to win. You just got to get one pinfall, one submission, and it is over. As we await the arrival of the former AEW Tag Champions. They've been Ring of Honor Tag Champions. Um, IWGP Junior Champions. IWGP Tag Champions. Um, I, don't, I think the only place they have not held the belts is Impact Wrestling. And WWE. They're former Rev X Tag Champion. Here they are. At a combined weight of 350 pounds, Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson. Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. Uh, no worries, man. I'll hit you up. Um, let me know when you get that uh, wrestler done. And it is an all-out brawl. Try to do my best to call the action on this. Uh, I think really the heavy favor is the Croms, the Dangerous Alliance. The Kane going out with Nick Jackson. Oh, wait a minute. Mac Jackson rolls him up. Try a roll of Ill Master Hunter. Crucifix. Not happening. Franklin in trouble. Pulls him out. Oh boy. 
No, Plancy wants to be! Bonsai! Franklin getting out, of, rolling out of the ring. Oh, what a knee! Matt Jackson ate that knee. The old Master Hunter makes him pay. Out of the ring goes Nick Jackson. We got both members of the Dangerous Alliance in the ring. That shot had no effect. The old Master Hunter and Justice Reg on the outside. These two men going at it. Franklin going at it with a cane crumb. Oh, nice Samoan drop. Out of the ring rolls Matt Jackson. A cane looks like he's going to the outside. Oh, nice Frankensteiner. Belly to back. German suplex on the outside. These men's going at it. One of the crumbs. We got, I believe that's Tonga crumbs. Going out, Matt Jackson. Oh, Matt went for the super kick. And for a German, no. Oh, nice bulldog by Justice Rage. There's a cutter. Big boss man slammed by Tonga Crumb. Matt Jackson with a jawbreaker. Again, that flying European uppercut not doing the job. There's a zigzag on the outside. Again, just grazing him. Matt right, Jackson better give up. Can't. Tonga got nailed by a bicycle knee. Kane on the outside. Matt right, Jackson shooting star to the outside. High inverted DDT. Um, very much agree. Um, off subject, um, I'm actually going to an indie show tomorrow. Or Saturday, I should say. Wait a minute. Coast to coast. Franklin nails him. Tonga, a cane is split open. Raining right hands. Oh, what a spear! Matt Jackson! Good night, Justice Rage! Ain't no party like a super kick party! What in the. Oh, nice drop kick! Springboard kick, nobody home! Last show I went to, uh, Jake Crisp was there. Inverted Alabama Slamma. Right? Rage saves his partner. Little well, Master Hunter just posturing for the fans. A cane on the outside, Tonga. I'm sorry, a cane on the inside. Got Nell the cutter. Franklin trying for his, his own super kick. So much action going on in the ring. Butterfly suplex. Up, up, up. 
Down. Dumping Enza Gurry there. Uh, no, I don't know Sean Casey. A cane on the up top. Oh, went for a shoulder block. Got sidestep. Yeah, I never heard of him. <laughs> Power bomb. Boston Crab on the outside. Right now we got Ill Master Hunter. Oh, Boss Man Slam! One, two, and the Dangerous Alliance! Two for two! <laughs> you are right, barely got it. Look at this. The ropes. Inverted Alabama Slamma. Rage nailed that cutter. Here are your A dangerous winners, alliance. The Samoan Bruiser Akane Krom. And the Samoan Nightmare Tonga Krom. The dangerous alliance. They go on. They will go to Mania to face the tag champions, whoever it may be. And we're about to find that out tonight. Tornado Tag. Team BCW. Baron Blade. Cole Quinn or Mr. CQ. Going up against the pack. The maniacal monster Manson and the enforcer Dustin Jeffries. We know both the Jeffries and Manson are also in chamber matches later tonight. Will the pack be able to walk away still tag champions? Or will BCW head, head to Mania, their first Mania? I mean, Baron Blade came out of retirement. Hey, luck of the draw, my friend. Luck of the draw. Never know what number you can be. And there he is, Mr. CQ Cole Quinn, Baron Blade. He is on a mission. They would love to bring back those tag titles to BCW. I mean, what a feather in the cap would it be for Baron Blade to bring those, I mean, to make his promotion, have it thrive with bringing another company's tag titles there. Their buzz moved on. Main event of Mania and WWE. Here we go. Yep. 
Here's the enforcer. There's Manson. Um, I will be off the subject. I will be going back and double checking on doing Titantrons as you see my Titantron in the background. Um, and if, if they're still the same way, I know mine's really nothing's fancy. If you want to know how to do Titantrons like I got on there, uh, I'll be happy to show you. I'm going to have to go back and do a little refresher for myself. But, so I'll be happy to show you. Happy to help out. Locker. St. Louis, Missouri. That's what they're fighting for. The Revelation X World Tag Team Championships. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 460 pounds, Cole Quinn and Baron Blade. Representing and Team BCW. At a combined weight of 538 pounds, they are the Mason and the Enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. Here we go, Team BCW, the pack. Baron play not, oh no. Did not phase Manson. Shoulder blocked by Jeffries to Cole Quinn. Well, Mr. CQ. Oh, jawbreaker. Everyone's like, I don't think so. Oh, Quinn over the top. Baron Blade putting the boost to Manson. Jawbreaker. ECW right now has the advantage. Well, as soon as I say that, it got stopped. Oh, nice. I'm in a vertical suplex position, trans to a DDT. Jeffrey's fighting back, means the knee to the head. Up over the shoulders, hot top ropes. Quinn with an elbow. Quinn eats the steel steps. What's the name? Not happening. Manson gets stung gun himself. And a boot to the side of the head of Mr. CQ himself, Cole Quinn. As the arm. Jeffrey's like, I don't think so. Tornado DDT. The cry for help, but too close to the ropes. Jeffries makes the save for his team. Blade ducks, clothesline, waiting for the enforcer to get up. Kicks to the head. Manson makes the save. And basement DDT. Jeffrey's in a camel clutch. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Jeffrey's out the back door. 
Neck breaking not happening. Jeffries tossed on the apron. Hip toss back in. Aaron Blade try for the pin. Not happening. Jeffries elbow to the ribs. Manson belly to back folds him up. No kids and no kids by the enforcer. And here we go. Maniacal driver. Clothesline, another clothesline, heel kick. Quinn makes the save. Manson now, putting down Cole Quinn. He tried to fire up, Manson puts him down. Jeffries back up. Going after Quinn. What a clothesline. A Cole Quinn jumping tornado DDT to Manson. Shot to the ribs. Jeffries on the apron. One, two. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? BCW beat the pack? BCW beat the pack! Holy crap! What a shock. I mean, Baron Blade, if Cole Quinn didn't get Jeffries out of the ring, then Baron Blade wouldn't have got the job done. Our Jeffries didn't have much time to go back and take a breather. As we're getting the chamber set up and ready for this matchup. Pardon me. Ali Monize will defend his submission championship against two former submission champions. One of those men being the enforcer and the other one being the cruiser great. Pyron X12. Also, we got Mr. Hardcore Brian Evans. King Rockstar Devitt. The one, the only, the true rock star of Revelation X. Also, we have the Turkish monster Draven. I mean, what? I mean, this is going to be a hell of a matchup. Uh, no, this is for the uh, submission championship that Ali Manaz currently holds. The pack are, I mean, Jeffries and Manson have really, I mean, spread themselves quite thin. I mean, Jeffries going all over different companies, winning championships. 
They are the um, Riot World Universal Tag Champions. Jeffries successfully defended his subscriber championship. I mean, Jeffries. I mean, WEW Heavyweight Champion, the WEW promotion. He is also. The WCC Big Gold Champion. I mean, like I said, this man is really spreading himself quite thin. I mean, also has a match. I mean, he's going to be defending his um, World Heavyweight Championship this Friday night, tomorrow night, over in. Icon Championship Wrestling inside a chamber, so Jeffries has a busy busy weekend. He's not getting any breaks or anything like that. This man's putting in some major work. And there he is. The former two-time World Heavyweight Champion, the rock star, King Devitt. He is ready to go here tonight. He steps inside the chamber. I mean, you got to imagine he hopes he had, he'll have the luck of the draw getting himself a good number. He's one of the first men airing the pod. How about this? There he is. Ali Monais, a brother of Lexi Monais. He is coming out here. First big title defense, former hardcore champion. Here we, there he is, the champ. He is ready to go. Hands over the championship to the referee as he goes and gets in his pod. Like I said, the luck of the draw is the big determining factor tonight. I mean, but and, and our first one for the number one contendership, I mean, it really didn't matter because Ryan Hux made it to the very end. Here he is, Mr. Hardcore, Brian Evans. Former PWR Heavyweight Champion. Champion.
I mean, former Rev X Hardcore Champion. He knows what to do and how to get the job done. But this time he's going to the submission division. He clumped into this pod, knowing this could be a major opportunity. He wants to win this thing. We see all three of the pods now are full. And there he is. The Turkish monster, Draven. And I'm just now realizing, oh my God. Fire an X-12. It's going to be one of the first men in this match starting. I hope he's ready because... And he better think of his lucky star that he's not starting it with Draven. There's Ali Monaz. We've seen the rock star, Draven. And fan, if you've realized it, yes. Dustin Jeffries and Byron X-12 are starting this thing. Dustin Jeffrey is coming out to the ring. After tonight's event, he is heading to Trap City. He has a matchup against BMF. What kind of shape is he going to be in? Jeffrey's eyeballing Draven. There's no strangers. Jeffrey, the first Grand Slam champion. And how about these two rivals? Fire and X-12, the Cruiser Great. And for those who remember, uh, I want to say 2K17 or 18, Somewhere like there, um, several promotions on the Xbox side got together and had um, the first when Worlds Collide event and one of the top rated matchups were two teams that were facing off in a four-way dance elimination match. It was the British Lanterns, Benny Banks, Byron X-12, and that time the Pack, then Pack, Dustin Jeffries, and the Legend D. In the end, Jeffries eliminated his own partner. Byron was eliminated. It came down to Benny Banks and Jeffries. Banks hit that moonsault. Uh, 
Um, not all pain. I had to go back and look up the record. I think he had made two, two or so wins. I'm not positive. But ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Jeffries and Byron X12 starting this match off. Here we go. Ying Yang Plex just launches him. Jeffrey, cut throat torture rack. Again, I'll have to go back and look. Byron gets out of that. Big twist of fate. Jeffries, big clothesline takes his head off. Hit right to the back. Nice gut buster. Putting the boots to him. Oh, nice kick. Look at this. Arm bar going in. Oh, like I said, I'll have to go check out the records. I don't know if I have my notes in there like that. You know, the match you had against me, you won by... Um, I'm not sure if Spike beat you or not. I have to go back and look at that one. I don't know. I will. And King Devitt in the ring. Uh, yes, he has. I will give you the date of the show if you want to go look it up. It was the, um... The night you... I might not have had your gamer tag, your tag at the time. So, uh, you fought Spike, then Angel Alvarado and Jason Parker versus the pack. It was back in, it was back in January. It, it was, you got to go back to uh, January. Check out the Thursday night shows. But, you know, Forcer in trouble. Oh, what a spine buster. Just turned right into it. Fine on the pine. And Byron kicked him right in the face. On an elbow, just runs him over. Freestyle bow and arrow, and here comes Draven. Ryan Evans gets the. I mean, yeah, man, just gonna draw there. Butterfly D bomb. True. Batters probably want something you missed or something. I don't know. I'd look it up. I think that might have been the one you did. You did win, Spike. And I think that might have been the one where you sat there and you beat him down with a chair after the match. I can't remember for sure. He 
He got driven up in the Enforcer's Landing. Draven back body drop. Uh, it was early January. by the enforcer Dev in the and again oh I hit the turnbuckle Jeffrey's bow and arrow to Draven bounce him just an empty pod Raven front face lock, Jeffries swings out, oh, low blow, Raven, not feeling so good, here comes Ollie Monize, blind, blind Evans gets the luck of the draw, Devin not having a good night. <laughs> Getting a bounce against that pod. Jeffrey the Monize. Gold boy. Butterfly DDT. Monize now. Boom some over. Knees. And oh, another knee. Jeffrey's going outside to... Jeffrey's goes in the pot. Jeffrey's gets the rope in the pot. He goes. Austin Crab, Monize, not doing so good. But he's able to get out of there. Back. Of King Devitt. Jeffrey's just not doing good on the outside. Torture wreck. Oh, no wild backbreaker. Stardom Buster. A driven back up. And here comes Brian Evans. The man got the luck of the draw. Jeffrey. Mona is now getting bounced around. Byron in the pod. What the? Oh, Jeffrey's. The Spears Pirate X-12 through a pod. My God. Byron got speared through that pod. Ooh. Ali going up top. Nice swanton bomb. Never get field. On ringer. I don't know how he's still going. That Dallas, I didn't know his Twitter at the time. Byron bounced off that pod now. Jeffries. Ooh. Raven got clothing. Devin against the. Just the pod.
gets the chamber wall. Or these men on the outside fouling out. Raven and Evans. And I wrong the first two men are still brawling. Balancing each other up against the pods. Raven just having his way with men. Ryan Evans is like, nah, I think I'm gonna leave these two alone. These guys are just having fun right now. Monai gets ran right against the cell. Or the chamber, I should say. These guys are just rolling on the outside. Against the chamber. And these guys are just balancing each other up against the wall here. He goes. Raven having his way. Ooh, there's the high heel kick. All Eyes needs to go for a submission and end this thing. Back body drop. He's, what, he's getting ready to nail him again. No. All Eyes says, I don't think so. That modified cutter. On eyes just waiting. All right, well, there's a, I said, there's a match where you fought Dallas. It was early January. Um, I will have to go on and Crash my cards while this match is going on here. Um, we got it. Oh, Evan busted open. It was, um, January 5th I posted up. I posted January 5th. Because King Devitt fought Harrell for the world title. So it would be on the, it would be January 6th. <laughs> These guys just bounce each other off the pod. Raven was in control. Oh, wait a minute. Monai's like, I don't think so. Oh, what a slidage. Monai's like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm going back in the ring. Monai's not going for a submission, ironically. Now all these men are beating the crap out on the pod. So I'm going to 
take control of somebody and try to throw someone in the ring. I can. I don't know. I had to bring two guys in the ring. Ooh, SOS! I burn X12! Jeffrey! There's the, the kick! Jeffrey's taking a breather. Evans. Ooh, nice reverse gut ring. Set out Dr. Bomb. Oh, God. Oh, look at this. Line Tamer. Line Tamer. Monize in trouble. And Monize is gone. Oh, Liam Monize, the heavyweight champion, is out of there. Barnes just got catapulted into the chamber. Jeffrey's rigging there. Here comes the enforcer. He's joined the action. These men just beating each other mercifully. Jeffries throws Draven back in the ring. Draven kicked the leg from out underneath of him. Oh, and Jeffries pulled the top rope down. He's like, nah, I'm good. Jeffries throws him in the pod. Oh my God, wait a minute, Jeffries. Spears driving through a pod. We see him do that to Byron X-12. Oh, I did change the, um, the AI. Oh, Jeffrey might have been looking for the cry for help. Got men, two guys back in the ring. Jeffries throws Draven back in the ring. Draven says, I don't think so. Bad drop by the enforcer. As the cruiser great. Close wow, well close on by Draven. Draven looking for that iron claw possibly. Draven waiting. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, say it proud, say it! Now, pounce! Draven just pounced Jeffries! Right over the shoulder. Oh, here we go. He's putting Draven in the cry for help. Draven struggling. Draven taps. We're down to the final four. How in the hell are the first two men in this thing still going? Jeffries. Bounces. I mean, just bouncing him off the chamber. And Evans, who was the last man in this thing, 
All right, no worries. Yeah. Well, that's the first submission chamber that I've done. So, maybe submission chambers aren't the best thing to do. And now, Devitt and Evans back in the ring. Jeffrey's on the outside with Pirate X-12. And back and Evans against the chamber and bouncing off of the wall. Here we go again. Hopefully this does not happen when we have the um, Hopefully these guys take it back in the ring or go for submission. Well, as soon as I say take it back in the ring, Devitt and Jeffries. Devitt, uh-oh. Oh, oh Devitt avoided it. He avoided the cry for help. And again, oh, nice right hand by the enforcer. Little false hope and splits him open. Jeffries off the ropes. Oh, elbow. Leaping knee now. Everybody's back in the ring. Arm bar now. A competitor and Jeffries taps to an arm bar. It is not a good night for the enforcer. Yep, poor knee. Evan. Oh, nice kick. Hmm. Oh, y'all eating a cookie? <laughs> That's Matt. Oh, nice spear by Evans. Tequila Sunrise. A competitor has been eliminated. Ryan Evans makes Byron X-12 submit. No one home for the drop kick. High angle flatliner. Breaks the eyes. Final two, ladies and gentlemen. Up next is our hardcore title matchup. We will get the submission fall here in this match. Off the ropes. Drop kick evaded. 
Left hand, big haymaker. Rip cord V trigger. Pulling him away from the ropes. Rain it down, left hands. Why is he not going for a submission? What a lariat by Evans. Oh, out the back door. In the corner. Now they're putting a the boost to him. Evans running knee. Evans just waiting. Again, out the back door. Spine buster. These men trading shots. And up and over the top he goes. Please, God, don't let him bounce off the ch chamber again. I will have to intervene. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Out there making a ring. Sometimes you gotta make sure the match goes on. Evans needs to go for the submission win. Kip up Rana, kip up Frankensteiner. Ooh, nice right to the knee. Kicks to the head. He needs to go for the submission. I'm not sure why he's not going for it. Devin making a terrible mistake. He might be paying for it here soon. Evans is waiting. Here we go. Eight second ride. Devin says, I don't think so. Devin needs to end this match. He wants to win that championship. Here we go. Canadian Destroyer. I don't know why you're not finishing him off here. He has the match won. Why aren't you finishing him? Not happening. Spine Buster. Another eight second ride. And now Evans go for the tequila sunrise. This could be it! And no, it's not! He powers out! Out 
Out the back door. Evans. Eight second right again. He's like, let's do this again. Tequila Sunrise. He's yanking back on it. And we got a new submission champion. Mr. Hardcore Brian Evans wins this thing. Ali Mana was the first man out of this match. The champion didn't have a chance. Nailed an eight second ride. Ma variation of a gut wrench. Here is your winner and new action champion, the unpredictable Brian Evans. Mr. Hardcore Brian Evans is your new submission champion. Mercifully, that match is over. <laughs> Note to self, don't do submission matches unless they work. All righty. Now, I mean, when we seen earlier in the night, the number one contenders match. So, it will be the franchise, Lance Porter. The ace of Revelation X, TJ Ace. True. Um, Angel Alvarado. Jaden Briggs. The Furious One, Furious Frank, and the heavy, the hardcore champion, Brandon Alexander. Devin Harrell, you imagine he is looking on. Speaking of the superior one, he'll be in the main event tonight. We have the women's championship match after this match. And with a mystery entrant, I mean, as mystery, mystery as making his Revelation X debut, he has he's a former world heavyweight champion in other companies.
So it should be interesting to see who this person could be. Here in St. Louis, Missouri. And there he is. Angel Alvarado. Former worldwide wrestling heavyweight champion. He is ready to get the job done. I mean, can you imagine if Alvarado wins this and we re reignite the rivalry, the Alvarado and Harrell, weighing in at 180 which hopefully, pounds, if Hunt that happens, Man Angel. we don't see Triple H coming out and pedigree and Angel Alvarado. We don't need to see that. Ladies and gentlemen, I am just getting word that the pack has, they have a, um, the contract that they have is a special contract that they signed and I, for some odd reason, as I said, we don't do title rematches unless special or the champion wants to give that person a rematch. But it will be the pack this Thursday night. Well, next Thursday night, Team BCW for the tag titles. One more time. And that match will be inside a steel cage. More news on that to come, but my God, Steel Cage next Thursday night. Tag titles. The Furious one in the pod. Looks like we know he ain't going to be number one or number two. I mean, I'm sure he already knows his spot. And here he comes. Very unfamiliar, not seeing this man with gold. The ace of Revelation X, TJ Ace. Multi-time hardcore champion, former submission champion. As I said, very unfamiliar, not seeing this man with championship gold. But he's coming out here looking to get his hardcore championship back. And he has an opportunity to do just that. Man, he will 
submit you with an arm bar or that triangle choke or just hit you with that burning hammer. As he looks over at Furious Frank. And here he comes. The franchise. The man who knocked off the world heavyweight champion this past Thursday night. He is a former RevX world heavyweight champion, former hardcore champion, former RevX tag champion. One time, then partner Dylan Streets. This is the hardcore title chamber match. Then next will be the women's chamber match. Devin Harrell watching... Sure, he's watching very carefully, interested in this matchup. Here he comes, Jaden Briggs. A man that took the champ to the limit. So far, we got new tag champions. BCW tag belts. And Blade and Cole Quinn are the new tag champions. Brian Evans, the new submission champion. Who will walk away with the hardcore championship? And there he is, Brandon Alexander, multi-time UWA um, television champion, tag champion with both Lukey Murphy and Fire X-12, RevX tag champion with both men. Coming in. He has already successfully defended that championship one. He is coming in here. And look who he's starting it with. Jaden Briggs. Here we go, Briggs, oh, nails the referee. Referee was in the crossfire. Alexander Jawbreaker. Went for a knife edge, not happening. Briggs. Scoops him up, near the back, and a spinning power slam. Wrenching the, the neck 
of Brennan Alexander, who will be number three. Briggs having his way with the champion. Here comes the former champion, Furious Frank. Running kick. Just days Briggs. There's a rainmaker. Now going out to the man who took his championship. Big belly to back. Rig single arm DDT. Ooh, nice headbutt. Rig's looking for. Takes a back elbow instead. Oh, got caught. Alexander got caught with a rib breaker. Ooh, left hand. But gets spiked on his head with a DDT. Frank going back after Alexander. Here comes the franchise. Nice Dragon Rana into the pin. The franchise buying this time. Going after Brain Alexander. Nice elbow. Right hand Polish hammer by Briggs. Oh, against the pod. Alex, oh my god. Franchise! There's the spear! I'm sorry, no! I'm sorry, guy, run. That's Furious Frank with the spear. My apologies. Alexander head scissor to franchise face first in the mat. Riggs is down. Riggs able to kick out. Taking that trademark spear and Alvarado goes into the steel. He is Alexander's down. The champion oh my god, the Alexander's enemy. gone. We're gonna have a new champion. Riggs is down. Alvarado out the back door. Franchise nailed that spear on Briggs. Nice bridging fall away. Riggs just sends franchise They're out of the ring. Oh, Northern Knights by TJ Ace, the ace of Revelation X. Oh, here we go. Catapult in the steel. There's the arm bar. Alvarado able to get, find, get out of that. What the hell is Furious Frank? No water in the pool for the Furious One. But the franchise lands right on Jaden Briggs. Franchise does find the mark. Handspring Moonsault. Alvarado. Two blocks out the, into the arm bar. Nice transition. Pulling on the arm. Oh, what a snap. Trying to snap the arm. Diving elbow in the back. Franchise with a Russian leg sweep. Nice sweep there. Only a two. 
Oh, what a V trigger. What a V trigger. And the franchise is going to capitalize. Slice through the legs. Pump handle, side power bomb. Tornado DDT on the franchise. And Furious Frank goes into the steel. Chicken wing into the face buster. What in the world? Oh, French has a pair of brass knucks. Hey, it's legal. It's all legal here. What a right hand by Frank. driver that grand sword shades of Marcus Creed a competitor has been eliminated and Jaden Briggs submits the modified dragon sleeper Alvarado gets dropped on his head with a brain buster Briggs started this thing Franchise move for the drop kick. Swats that drop kick away. Two men out on the outside fighting it out. Big clothesline by the franchise. Porter going to the top. Went for the chop, but not happening. Alvarado not letting it go down. Oh, that's the Dragon Slayer. That's what that was. Alvarado has the franchise. But the franchise holds on. Nope, out the back door goes Alvarado. Just nail right in the back. Suplex. Oh, stunner screwdriver. Franchiser on the outside. But hey, still in this thing. Nice Frankensteiner. Alvarado, the last second franchise. I'm sorry, Ace. Right over the back. Leapfrogs the spear to Alvarado. Went for that springboard in Zaguri. Not happening. Frank tried to go flash that kick. Got caught with a dragon screw. Power bomb with authority. With authority, the franchise sends Ace on the that con that steel, and he went for the spear, got leapfrog. And crash and burn. Ace got nailed the crash and burn. Alvarado. Broke it up. Chop block. And he's looking for another spear, possibly. And he leapfrogged it. What in the rolling backs here? What the hell? Big splash on the top of the pod. Big splash off the pod!
My God, Alvarado's down! A bloody TJ Ace takes a brain buster. No! This man's not human. Oh, the franchise gets spiked with that DDT. Right hand by Furious Frank. Running kick. Hey, he's not having it. Running back elbow. Alvarado. Ankle lock. Frank's in the ankle lock. It will kick away. TJ Ace trying for the pin. But not enough to put the franchise down. These four men know what's at stake. Power Bomb City. European uppercut. And a spear. Frank not going for the pin. Oh, now he does now. Smart thinking. And the ace is gone. Look at this. These men trying to pick their shots. Franchise putting him on the top turnbuckle. What in the world is he going for? Oh, got now the kick. Not sure what the corkscrew is going for, but... These men just trading shots. Alvarado got taken down. My about by figure four. Got stopped. Oh, look at this triangle. Triangle locked in. We usually see this from TJ Ace. Spear by the franchise. Alvarado's down. A competitor and it's over. It is down to Furious Frank. And the franchise. Knife edge chop. Shot to the ribs. Hard clothesline. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. King Cobra hold. Franchise is in trouble. He is in trouble. But the franchise bellowing back. He wasn't going to have it. Pour him to the bag. Make it two. Frank got took a minute to take a breather and just spears the franchise. Two. And it's over. Furious Frank is your now two-time hardcore champion. Frank spearing Jaden Briggs through the pod. And look at that, nailed and Briggs on the way in. Nice Northern Lights. The Dragon Slayer couldn't get the job done there. But ladies and gentlemen, another new champion. Here is your winner and new world yes, it was. champion, Furious This is a long pay-per-view. <laughs> Furious Frank. After a rough week.
Loses the Rivex title last past Monday night. But he is the new two-time hardcore champion. And a hard fought win. Ladies and gentlemen, Revelation X Women's Championship on the line. Lexi Monais, Bad Amy, Luis Bates, Alicia Angel, Layla Valentine, and the Barbie, Kendall Rose. Two of these ladies in this match have not won the championship before, and they have a chance here tonight. We know Lexi Mize would love, love to get that championship around her waist. But ladies and gentlemen, we do know for their hardcore match, it will be Furious Frank. He will face Devin Harrell at RevX Mania. And whatever happens this um, next Thursday night, will it be the PAC or BCW, they will face the Dangerous Alliance. And Mrs. Superior One, Casey, will face the winner of this match at RevX Mania. Since Casey is the... And they will main event Mania. That is right. Both Mania shows, um, our Fire Pro brand and our 2K, the ladies are main eventing. First time ever, the ladies will have center stage at the biggest show of the year. I mean, we already know on the Fire Pro side, it will be Casey and Alicia Angel, main of Benning. Be Mr. Mayhem and Dark Havoc, semi main event. I mean, who will walk away on our men's side? In our main event here tonight to face Calvin Tankman for the RevX Heavyweight Championship. Lexi Monais, former women's champion, she would love to get that belt back. She's had her problems with Luis Bates and Alicia Angel and Layla Valentine. Should be a hell of a contest, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you for tuning in here tonight, fans. Revelation X Elimination Chamber. Like I said, next stop, Rev X Mania. Again, that will be Sunday. March 23rd will be our Fire Pro RevX Mania. March 7th, RevX Mania on our 2K side. As we wait for the first entry to come out here, who will be entering this pod, entering one of the pods first?
And ladies and gentlemen, is the Deathmatch Princess, Bad Amy. Um, I've already actually got it taken care of already. I already have it already done. Introducing the challenger from Area 51, the Warrior Princess, Bad Amy. Bad Amy, the Deathmatch Princess. She is ready to go here. Uh, I appreciate it, man. All good. I appreciate it. Bad Amy was the first woman, one of the first two women in Revelation X history on our Fire Pro side to ever compete in an exploding barbed wire death match. She, def she faced off against then champion Lady Frost. Um, I can give you, um, I'm not sure what pay-per-view I'll, I'll start next, but I'll let you know when that time comes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our next entry Lulu is in the house, Luis Bates. Is here and she's ready to go. Former Rev X Women's Champion. She defeated Lexi Monize for that championship. She ended up losing that title to Layla Valentine, the current champion. I mean, Layla's no stranger to multi-competitor match. She was in that five-woman tables match, elimination match. And here she is, former RevX Women's Champion, Lexi Monize. She's, I mean, I'm sure she's still hurting from Heartbreakers Paradise this past Monday as her and Casey went in that um, landmine death match. Those two ladies beat the crap out of each other. My eyes. She is ready to go. She will take your head off that black mask kick. She will hit you the tour of the islands. Do not underestimate Lexi Monize for one second. And here comes the Barbie, Kendall Rose. Representing the pack. Her and Jamie Johnson. I mean, these two ladies were a dominant tag team, women's tag team, over on their Fire Pro side. I mean, you never know. Maybe those two will get back together on the 2K side. And we got fans not, people not fan of the pack. And I don't think the Barbie cares one bit.
All the pods are filled. And here comes the goddess, Alicia Angel. Rock, rocking the old H2 attire, the H2 gear. For those who don't know about H2, and uh, back in 2011, herself and her trainer, the one who trained her in this business, Dustin Jeffries, were a dominant mixed tag team called the Heavenly Two. They were the, they won the HCV mixed tag titles, the SXP mixed tag titles, and they never lost those tag titles. They were a dominant mixed tag team all through that time. I believe all the way up to 2013 and after that they not been not been a team since Layla Valentine starting us off last champion that started us off well that champion was the hardcore champion, Brandon Alexander, and well, he's no longer champion. But Layla Valentine has, like I said, has had the odds stacked against her in the past. And here we go, Alicia Angel. Oh my God, what an elbow! She just. Lord Layla Valentine. These two ladies use the same fish and maneuver. A Valentine clash. Angel clash. Will Barrel. Nice arm drag there by Alicia Angel. Now just working on the arm. Ooh. That can rip a shoulder out of a socket. Look at this. Spinning head scissors. Sends Angel flying. Who will be the th number three in this matchup? And as Luis Bates, Valentine went for a super kick. That, and just knees Angel in the head. Luis Bates. Going out against the woman who took her title. And the hot shots are over the top rope. Famouser. Arm drag now by Layla Valentine, the champion. One for a drop get no one home. Both lasers thinking the same thing. Bates and Angel. Angel with a clothesline. Oh, here we go. Angel driver and sends Bates down. And a spear cutting in half. Layla Valentine and oh look at these two. The Barbie Kendall Rose. Oh look at that Emerald Flosion. Shades of the Enforcer. One for a leg drop. No water in the pool. Go to the back. No. Bates flips out of it. Spinning Brain Buster. Angel missed the knee. Up against the steel. 
Fades against the pod. Oh, back and spine first. A sharp point of the chamber. Want the leg down. Did the Barbie and here comes Bad Amy. And Monai must have the luck of the draw. She's the last entrant in this thing. Jawbreaker. Northern Lights flips over. And gets stopped. And she's about to get tied in a knot. Right through the upright. Kicking the rear for you. Japanese arm drag by the Barbie. And here comes Lexi Monai. Bates and... Oh! Angel Cutter on the outside. Head scissors on the ins on the inside of the ring. Lexi finding a little difficulty. The other four legs on the outside. Oh, nice Michinoku driver. Set out neck breaker. Now all the legs are on the outside. Monai's against the pod. Angel got chucked in the ring. Monai's getting ready to hit the Valentine Clash on the steel. Double pin. And no. Bates gets out of the ring. And look at those knees. By Bad Amy. Layout neck breaker. Was it this? Angel lock. A LaBelle lock of hers. And no. Monarch gets chucked in the ring. By her arch rival, Louise Bates. Springboard, nobody home. Oh, the fist. Power bomb. Oh, what? To the outside on the steel. What should I say? Awesome bomb. And Kendall is gone. Angel gets her revenge. Today is the past 15 years since the legendary Mike Austin has been gone. Luxie with an awesome bomb to the outside. I mean, not trying to take away from this match, but can you believe? Mike Awesome has been gone for 15 years today. Crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, we get back to the action here. Angel's in trouble on the inside of the ring. A competitor has been and Angel is gone. Valentine Clash on the outside. Backstabber. A bank statement on the outside. And no. Oh, what a kick. Good night. The champ is still in this. The champion and the champ is gone. Eliminated. A 
modified STO bait is down to the final three. Dragon Slayer not happening. And Bates and Bad Amy going at now. Lulu picks up Amy. Amy out the back door. Ooh, caught her with a knee. If Lexi was smart, she would stay out of this and let these two fight it out. But she's like, nah. I'm taking this girl's head off. Oh no, she got caught. Drag him. One for the stomp, not half a drop. One, two, no. Kick to the rib, oh, kick to the leg. Trading kicks. Up a knee, keep the body. Nice sweep. Monite with the right hand raining down. Amy trying for the win. Oh, she got caught. Lulu, shot to the back. Tour of the islands. One, two, and Bates still in this thing. Go for a nice sweep, kick to the body. He's taken down. A modified. Almost like the tra old trailer hitch that Jamie Noble used to use. Side belly to belly. Shades of Magnum TA. Bulldog driver. Bates. Puts down bad Amy. And Amy again kicks out. Oh, nice kick. Right, left hand. Oh, she cut the kick, said, I don't think so. Monize, every time she's gone for that black mass kick. She has not had any luck. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Not the landing she wanted. Oh, Amy went in the turnbuckle. And I not. A competitor has and Lexi, I did not see what. Lexi got nailed that running boot. But Claymore. Luis Bates down on the mat. Oh boy, here we go. Boom, I A! Oh, boom, I A! One, two, and no, Louise Bates. Whether you call it a Boomaye or a Kinshasa, she went for the Boomaye again. Lulu was not having it, drop to hold. Bad Amy. Go to sleep. 
PKs wiped her out. Bates kicked out. That aim is like, I don't think so. Bicycle knee. Going to the top. Diving stomp. There's a Kinshasa. One, two. Bad Amy has done it. She is your new Revelation X Women's Champion. There's the Angel Driver. There's one on the outside. Angel Cutter. Valentine Clash. Oh, there's the black mask. That actually hit. Here is your winner and new action champion, the warrior princess, Bad Amy. Bad Amy is the new Revelation X women's champion. Holy crap, fans. She finally did it. She's your new women's champion. And ladies and gentlemen, everybody's wondering about the mystery wrestler. Well, I think you can probably see, but ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to say who, because, I mean, you might not, might not be who you think it is. So if you know who it is, don't put it in chat, please. Don't put it in chat. Don't type the name, because when this person comes out, we'll all know who it is. But this is your main event. The superior one, Jason Parker, D Mob, Showtime, Dallas Blackheart. And the mystery uh, entrant, which I'm sure people will know when I play this person's music. And when they come out. So again, don't if you know who it is, you see it, don't put it in chat yet until this person comes out. Well, We'll see. It all depends on how things go. I'm sure everybody's like, are you serious? You brought, you guys got him? Yes, we got him. These six men, the winner will go on 
to RevX Mania, Two Face, Calvin Tankman. All right. Well. Calvin Tankman. And here comes Jason Parker. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 220 pounds, Jason Parker. I said don't put it in the chat, you dick. Come on, Spike. What's that? All the entries are random numbers, but you don't know what number's who. So. And there he is. D Mob is here. D Mob, he is ready to go. As he's going to be entering one of the pods. But the big question is, who will be the final two? HCV for life, repping the old HCV colors. As D Mob. And there he is, the superior one, Spike. The superior one who does have a victory over the champion as well before he became champion. Fight former hardcore champion, the current UWA United States champion. Should be a hell of a contest here. As we await. Whoa, wait a minute. Sh 
Showtime. Um, he's coming out next. I mean, we've been told that one of these men we were told the the mystery man was going to be the last entry and it does not seem that way. The show closer, former RevX heavyweight champion. I'm getting word that there's a last minute change of the mystery man saying, you know what? I want to go in first. I'm going to teach this young punk a lesson. And he's going to humiliate this kid. Humiliate the champion, Dallas Blackheart. I mean, we will see if that is the case. Eyeballing the superior one. Wait a minute, I know that music. That's JBL! John Bradshaw Layfield! He was WWE Champion for a year! JBL with the limo! No Longhorns, but a limo nonetheless! JBL Wow Former hardcore champion multi-time tag champion United States Intercontinental Champion JBL John Bradshaw Layfield. And we might see a clothesline from hell. Download the Domino's app today and become a piece of the Pi Rewards member to earn points toward free pizza. Wow. So, wait a minute. All right, view if you. If the champion retains, Spike will get a tile shot before the man. Well, we'll see if that happens. And Spike said yes if he wins, so... The champ telling him to join the congregation and there it is, the heavyweight championship. I do not know what happened there. And here we go. JBL. 
John Bradshaw Layfield. Two belt Blackheart. I don't know about that. I want to see one championship. I love Black. JBL. Single like Boston Crab. He's beating men like Big Show, like The Undertaker, Eddie Guerrero. He's few with men like John Cena, Batista. Back elbow by Brett. JBL took a kick in the jaw. And here comes the superior one. Oh, Bradshaw up against that pod. Oh my God. And again. And now the superior one, the back. JBL coming back in the ring. The champion now. STF. Step over to old face lock. Rachel, going at this kid. And they're really just double teaming Blackheart. Blackheart fighting for his proverbial life. And JBL got chucked out of the ring. In comes D Mob. D Mob and JBL going at it. Blackheart kicked right in the face. Super kick to the back of the head. Double legs. Nick move there. Rachel stomping the body. Rachel going to the outside. Spike has the pin. Only a two. Those Dima back in the ring. And Bradshaw again after Blackheart. And here comes the show closer, Showtime. The champion has been Whoa! eliminated. Whoa! Spike just eliminated the champ. Spike just eliminated the champion. D-Mob just throws, just tossed out of the ring. We're going to have a new champion tonight. Wow, Spike eliminates the champion. Spike and Showtime, no strangers to one another. Nice Asai moonsault by the superior one. Here comes Jason Parker. He got the luck of the draw here. Ooh, into that gut buster. JBL still rolling in this thing. Buck took out of the ring. Jordan took out of the ring. D Mob. Ooh, big kick. Forrest Parker. What in the world? D-Mob. Over a butterfly. Oh, nice backbreaker by JBL. Bradshaw side slam on the steel. And 
Showtime going after him. Parker and Gmob on the inside of the ring. Going for a right hand, not happening. Oh, down that neck breaker. Knee drop to the back of Showtime. Parker with an iron claw to D-Mob. Ratchel might be looking for that fall away. Like in Showtime. Shot to the back. Pike, nice arm drag. Here comes Jason Parker. Watch your back, Spike. Parker's coming at you. Neck breaker. D-Mob. Power bomb. Into the Boston Crab on the outside. And no. Oh, handspring elbow. Sheds a Yoshihiro Tajiri. Parker. Running, spinning flatliner. JBL's down. And JBL is gone. Famous are by Spike. The self-proclaimed wrestling god is out of here. Spinning flatliner by Parker. One, two. Parker eliminates the superior one. It is down to Showtime. D-Mob, Jason Parker. D-Mob, Luthas Press. Showtime, off the ropes. Nice power slam. It's over here. Two, and no, d -Mob kicks out. Back elbow, and just spikes him right on his head. Near the back of the head, d -Mob caught the leg, and down with a gut buster. Shoulder into the ribs. Two, and no, Showtime kicks out. There is no James Avenge for anybody. And right now, the show closer getting beat. Right now he's got a hold of him. Spinning brain buster. And look, oh, look at this. Diving cross body to D Mob. See what happens. D Mob, that teardrop suplex, went for the kick. Parker dropped toe hold. Oh my God! Pulls him in, is the neck. I'll see what I can do, but.
This matchup. Line cross chops D-Mob. Down the front. Oh no! He went for that gut buster again. D-Mob not caught! Boss it open! Showtime takes the pin! Two! No! There's the Coloss, that Cobra Clutch Slam! Parker's down! Parker kicks out! Jumping Tornado DDT! Parker! Going for the back elbow, nobody home. Big boot. And now these men are on the outside fighting. D-Mob take, instead of taking a chance to get a breather. I mean, you can't underestimate Jason Parker. This kid's been so close so many times. And you got to wonder if he's going if he's going to win this thing. Oh wow! He fights out of the Coloss. Demon nails Showtime. Kicks the leg. Backbreaker, neckbreaker. Stomp to the face. Look at this. Reality check. Parker. Going for a super kick. Back elbow. Knees to the back. And an inverted DDT. Elbow by D-Mob. Cutthroat backstabber. Left hand, went for the kick. Front face like no. Nope. Hard clothesline. Parker kicks out. And now they seem to take their attention to Jason Parker. Neck breaker. Butterfly suplex. Oh, look at this. Parker taking the pin. One, two, no. D-Mob didn't have enough to that move of his. Oh, D-Mob. Into the Coloss. Down he goes. Parker into the wind. Trying to get D-Mob out. Parker, back spin kick. Neck breaker. Running knee! Just wiped him out! Two! Game up kicks out again! Oh, he's going for the show closer! Game up says, I don't think so! Bomb 2.0! And goodbye! Front face lock. Parker says, I don't think so. Jason Parker, back elbow. No one home there. D Mob climbing to the top. Now they're both on the outside. 
Jason Parker. Wait a minute. Parker's Law. Parker's Law. One, two, he did it! Jason Parker, after months, months, this kid, it culminated in championship gold. Taking that gut buster from D-Mob. That swing over neck breaker. Giving one to Spike as well. Jason Here Parker. Has finally done Jason it. Parker. He is at the top of the mountain. Jason Parker. Cannot believe he did it. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, new champions all around. New women's champion, Bad Amy. A uh, new hardcore champion, Furious Frank wins the gold back. New submission champion, Brian Evans. New tag champions, Team BCW, which they will be defending in a cage. Next Thursday, um, it'll be Harrell going up against um, Furious Frank at Mania. And for the ladies, Casey and Bad Amy, main eventing Mania. Jason Parker finally... Finally, after all these months, after debuting last year, it all culminated in championship gold. I'll see what I can do. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to Revelation X Elimination Chamber 2022. We will see you <clears throat> next Monday night, Revelation X Monday night. This is Steven Rogers signing off.